Mm-hmm. Now we got to remember Noma is big and powerful, like oh, ultimate powerful gangster uh, controls a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. But Tariq can get green cards too. Tariq can get anything. What you talking about? He hustled yeah, me. Yeah, he, he got just as much power. So Tariq is like, I- I'll get you the green card. I feel like there's nothing a nigga can say. <laughs> I got it. I can do it. I got you. You know what I mean? There's nothing unrealistic in Tariq's world. You can be like, I, I just need an island, man. If if I had an island, I'll take care of it. Give me two days. Just just make sure you go over there and tell her this message. It's like, it. no matter what, he can do it. Hustle man, bro. So so this nigga, this Jamaican dude has been risking his life for this drug or, organization uh, organization all these years for green cards. Tariq is done in two days. <laughs> <laughs> you know my sales slogan. If you want it, I got it. If I ain't got it, I'm going to get it. So get it while it gets good. <laughs> you are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Prime. Um, disclaimer: Like I said, every fucking uh, episode, we don't care if we liked it or not. We still watch your shit, and congratulations to you. We support you, and uh, shout out to you, nigga, because you you made it. We don't know you. We're watching this. Your movie. Anybody around the world can watch your shit. You made it, my nigga. You famous. You good. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. Nigga <laughs> 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 trying, trying to better itself. Hey, y'all. This nigga we trying, back. Nigga trying to get a nine to five and shit. Nigga trying to move up in positions. Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we back. We back with another one with power, the banger. Yeah, that shit didn't leak they, all they over the damn place, shit. ain't it? Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna look at it. They didn't flip this shit and made it all kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! So power, man, it's getting hey, to yeah. it's, it's coming to the end. Uh-huh. It's, it's um, I don't know if it's getting deeper or it's getting sloppy, and yeah, we'll talk about that later. Damn, you said deeper, sloppy, deep or sloppy. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That, that's a that's an interesting question. So, but so so this episode starts off with uh, Tariq fucking around and finding out. Right, he finds. Uh, doesn't he go into? Uh, well, him and Kane meet at Davis's office. Like, right. Not at this. Now they didn't come together, but they found it at the same time. It was like uh, they were looking for something that uh, that Sax had. Uh, um, yeah, that. Right. That that's what, that's what it was there for. Those are the finger. That's that fingerprint paper. Yeah. The, so that there, it was like there was like uh, Sax did so, for some reason Kane is tripping off Sax being dead too. Tariq is already tripping because he like, uh, what does he know? Like, because he works for the feds. So Tariq think is like, what what else does he know? For some reason, maybe maybe Candace on the same shit. Like, what else did he know? I'm trying to figure out why that's the only paperwork in Davis's office. That wasn't in Davis's office. What office was he in? He was in. He was looking at Sax's office, and then Davis showed oh, okay. up, and then okay. they went to Davis's Sachs. office. Okay, but is that only the only paperwork in Sax's office? It was only the, the pictures he took of the file. But I'm saying he ain't got no paperwork in there. They just found that one. There's nothing else in there for them to like kind of like rustle through. It's just like, oh shit. Like, you know, niggas got file cabinets or like, you know what I mean? Something stacked on top of each other. It's like this one piece of paper with pictures on it. That was it. That was all, <laughs> that was all he needed. It's like, there it is. <laughs> now, <laughs> but I'm saying uh, the reason I said Tariq fucked around and found out is because he got confronted by Kane. Yeah, he thought and- he was squabble. He thought he was finna do him like Braden. <laughs> I ain't like that though, man. I don't like, I don't get tired of Kane kind of punking everybody and shit. Nigga, I'm thinking, I was like, nigga, gonna get popped one day. I swear to God. <laughs> that nigga threw that nigga at a Dell computer, nigga. I was like, God <laughs> damn. That nigga. I was like, that nigga, I was like, did you at least, like, I don't think he got a hit in. No, but it's just funny that, so it's funny before the ass whooping, Tariq kind of checked him. Like nigga, you been wanting to beat me since you met me, nigga. Real shit. Like you only fucking, you only fucking with her. You got some. Real shit. Hey, he was getting at him tough though. He did. 
dude. Like, nigga, you been wanting to be me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with FBS <laughs> shit. Like, nigga, like, what? He was like, I get it, though, my nigga. You been wanting to be me since you met me, nigga. Kane was looking like, nigga. Swan on that nigga. <laughs> but then, no, Tariq, Tariq Swan. Kane was just saying. waiting, like, Kane was, was waiting. on that nigga, but he yes. missed him. <laughs> he missed him. <laughs> he dodged he him. <laughs> Dipped that nigga all around the office, bro. <laughs> He made him touch like four desks in that motherfucker. <laughs> and, then, and then he was about to finish him with the, the Dell computer. <laughs> For real. And nigga, but if Davis didn't walk in, that nigga would have got like, it would have been worse than that. <laughs> For sure. That nigga, Tari, he probably he got humbled that day. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking big shit, though. That shit was he funny, was talking big shit, man. That shit was so funny. Like, nigga, don't ever try to check me like that, nigga. You only fuck with her because of me, nigga. You want to be? <laughs> Don't ever talk to me like that, nigga. I should shoot I, you I, in this office. I tell you, I think I said it last episode. If Tariq Loki got a problem with that shit, or he sees something like yo, like nigga, oh, yeah, you did say that. You said like, that, like, <laughs> like, 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 nigga, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, um, so yeah, so that fight happens. Kane mm-hmm. leaves, then then Tariq talks to Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, before we do all of this, don't we got comments? Shit. Oh shit. Uh, I'm sure we do. I think we had a a good a, deal, a, a plethora. Yeah. Let me pull these bitches up right quick. Um, <laughs> it feel like so long ago that yeah. we, <laughs> right. It feels like a long time ago, right? But, yeah, but, yeah. But it's the power thing that make it so long ago. You know what I mean? Because it's like they have that. They gave us a two week gap. Yeah, maybe. maybe that's what about it. You know what I mean? It's like shit. We didn't forgot shit about the, we, didn't for, we didn't forgot about the OGs. Shit pissed me off. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, you want me to read all of them? Maybe the first one. What you want me to do? Uh, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to it. So you don't gotta read them all. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to go to the first one. We had a, a couple. So it was like it's kind of mixed in. Sometimes we be getting comments for like older videos. Yeah, that should be. Oh, you look on the um, you be looking on the YouTube. Th- I look on the actual YouTube. Oh yeah, I'm in the studio. Yeah. Okay, so first comment from episode eight was from Naya, uh, Naya Johnson. She said, "Well, actually, no, shit, damn, it's a little bit more." Be- Beatrice, Beatrice. That's what I was like, "What are you looking at, Nick?" I shit, I had to go down a little <laughs> more. Uh, Beatrice Kiddo said, "Yo." I love to give y'all a push. <laughs> I love, wait, I love wait, 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 wait. What happened? <laughs> what? Nigga, the name is not Beatrice. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm like, nigga, it's Beatrice. Nigga, Beatrice. Beatrice, kiddo. Remember, baby used to be a, like, nigga, Beatrice. Nigga, I'm thinking t- Tech Nine. That nigga said Bianca's and Beatrice. Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about baby because he was like, "Yeah, nigga, my name like he called himself Beatrice." Oh, uh, so, Be- is it Beatrice? I think it's Beatrice. The nigga Beatrice. said Beatrice. That's hella funny. No disrespect. Uh, <laughs> she said, "I love to give y'all a Detroit uh, perspective when we got to, when we get to BMF." And we was like, "We needed you all last season on the review." Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck with you at Beatrice. Yeah. But uh, good luck, good, but good looking. It looked like you've been kind of watching some of the videos lately. Uh, uh yeah. Um, uh, bitch, you gotta you gotta timestamp some shit. Cause some of your comments, I'll be like, I'll be trying to. I see your comment. I'm like, she's she she must be commenting while she's reading. I mean, while she's watching. Right. She said something about Al Henson. I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell she's she's like replying she's during during the watch. Yeah, we we appreciate the watchers. Yeah, sure. we appreciate it, though. especially going backwards. Um. Then we get to Nia Johnson. She said, I agree that Jenny probably lied about what happened to Lauren. Mm-hmm. That shit is still weird. Yeah. Even though it, 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 that shit is weird, man. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck. You want to uh, read uh, Shelby? Uh, Shelby Martin said, you called it on Kane and Effie. She was talking about me, of course. This nigga right here is. Hey, like, man, just, just let me get my shine, man. Hey, you're <laughs> rough ass nigga right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Since you ain't call it, I called it. Man, yeah, give it a nigga, nigga. We won. Black on black crime. We won. Hey, man. If you called yeah. it, we called it. Yeah, we called that. Uh, <laughs> <show>. <laughs> this nigga planning his escape already. <laughs> this nigga come out with an album talking about touch. <laughs> <But> anyway. <laughs> I'm out, nigga. That's it. 
What's the next one? Uh, ta- uh Taiwan Canal. Mm-hmm. It was is a list of uh recommendations. It just sucks. All these recommendations ain't on right now. Yeah, Godfather of Harlem. Uh, like I feel like anything we do has got to be starting because if we start in the middle, then that's it's gonna confuse us. You know what I mean? Like, no, so we, I think the Godfather of Harlem, uh, uh, the season already ended too. Like all of these, the season is already ended. I'm talking about like we had to start from scratch. Like we gotta start from season yeah. one. Like we can't just jump into like a, a season like out of nowhere. You know what I mean? We gonna have to get all the way down to the to the characters and all that because we gonna mess mm-hmm. around and not understand what's going on. Just like Ghost. Well, I watched season one of Godfather of Harlem. I think I watched one and I watched like half of two. Okay, yeah, I watched one episode, but not because it was, not because it was bad. It's because I was somewhere to where they had that channel and I don't have it when I went home. Nah. <laughs> so I never went back to it. <laughs> but they said uh Godfather Harlem, uh the family business, that's four seasons. We were supposed to try to jump into that. It's, that it's shit. Time, they, they, they that's in BT plus. That shit is way deep in. Like we would have to uh pause. We would have to um go back, <laughs> go backwards, and that's a lot. Yeah, uh they, they said the remake of the game. I think that'd have been cool. That would have been cool at the time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's so. That was it. It was just those three recommendations, which we would have fucked with, but it's just in the middle. Yeah. It's, it's like um, it's fucked up because we're asking them to recommend, and we'll be like, when they recommend, we're like, nah, we can't do it. But it's like, yeah, it, it's just the time consumption. It's a lot to catch up. It's a lot yeah. to catch up on. Yeah. Let's. I guess we had to elaborate a little bit of what we can do because it, I mean, it just don't make sense to jump in a season unless we had mm-hmm. to. We would have to binge watch all of it, and you know. We got jobs, you know what I mean? It'd be nice. Yeah. To, it'd be nice to not, but we do. It would be a day. <laughs> it would be it would be a day we could do this shit full time with we, it will be on it, but it's just it's just hard to do it right now. Right. So uh Noir Angel, she mm-hmm. said, Wait, are y'all from Oakland? I'm from Oakland too. I love your reviews. Have you tried watching the show Blind Spotting? That's the one you recommended. Yeah, I recommended it and uh I replied to her. The the problem with blind spotting is it's like I, I wanted to review this this season of it but um I, I feel like the artsy part of it is kind of taking me out now like before it was before the artsy part was cool it's like that it'll be in there but now it, it's it's becoming a lot you know what i mean it's 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 less about storyline more about artsy which is kind of bothering me i see like the exes they're they're extra heavy on the oakland references mm-hmm. which which I understand because Oakland is the most stolen from fucking city ever. No, not, not even just Oakland, Bay Area, period. Everything is stolen. The world steals it and does their own shit with it. So I'm glad when they go heavy on it. That's not true. That's absolutely true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's absolutely true. The Bay Area is the most stolen from in America. Everybody steal the shit and do what they want with it. And it, it it's like Everything from yeah, think about LA. Shade. Yeah, think about LA, dude. Like literally, Crips and Bloods are around the world at this point, nigga. That's an LA. Well, both. What well, it's both. It's California in general. So the LA, the the gang shit mentality that's stolen. The Bay Area, the slang and the and all of the everything else in between that's stolen. So California is the most is the most stolen from yeah, literally. Yeah, you know, the Bay Area definitely is, is like number one in slang for sure. Cause it's like nigga, niggas be mm-hmm. niggas are still saying for cheesy, and that's definitely a Bay Area term. <laughs> right. They'll steal the slang and dances, nigga, and, and rebrand them. Like everything is stolen. So I I I I, I fucks with them are going heavy with that. But as far as the artsiness of the show, it's kind of um I, I want more of the story, less of the artsy shit. Cause it can kind of take you out if you don't really fuck with it. And the first season I was fucking with it, but in this one, it's kind of like, damn. Like yeah. okay now, shit. Like calm down. They're gonna be like, yo, we ain't referring y'all no more movies. Y'all ain't gonna watch some shits, man. <laughs> I, I mean, we got good explanations for it though. Yeah, we we got good ex- So it's like I ain't and and even with that, I'm not tearing the show down. It's just it's it's too much sometimes. Yeah, no, I feel you. Um, so Mick J Cape eighteen said uh, he just put a bunch of fire emojis, which is super dope. That means I guess he's feeling it. We appreciate you. He says, uh, I appreciate y'all. I'm listening to this video. Y'all got me rolling. So that's always a good thing to hear. Appreciate you. Uh, he also said, can you link me to the Tariq? Uh, you you made a monster out of me. <laughs> 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 so I sent them to TikTok. Uh, Donovan Dan said, the Dirty D is good, but y'all should watch the show called From. And From is, is crazy as fuck. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't think I could. I, like, it's funny because I started it and it was like on a day to where I just couldn't pay attention to it. So I still want to mm-hmm. watch it though. It's, it looked interesting. I just yeah. haven't. And it's only one, it's like not that many black people in it, keep it real, but yeah, uh, it looked like a cool show. It's a cool show for sure. It ain't it ain't focused on blacks, but that, that is a good one though. Donovan yeah. Donovan Dance. Yeah. And then uh, we get to you to your girl Bree. You ready to read that paragraph? You got uh, the big letters. I'm looking, I'm looking at my phone. I got you. Uh Listen, anytime you hear Summer Walkers, <laughs> some cheek clapping finna go down. <laughs> I think that's what <laughs> Kane and Effie was smashing. So Kane yeah. lived his best life. Effie put that nigga to sleep, then had his ass hiding in the bathroom from Tariq. That cat lethal already. Drew Keisha, see, this is why I call you Drew Keisha. You done stalked Everett down at the bar. Then you have a big ass temper tantrum because that nigga ain't want to come out the closet for you. Girl, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> <laughs> now the Castillos know you lied about Gordo. I thought it was uh best Effie didn't know about the hit, so it could be more believable. And there was a little bit of tension when Tariq realized Kane got his old girl and Monette don't give a damn. I'm a little upset that the new character killed Detective Sachs. I know Ghost rolling in his grave. Awesome review. Yeah, it is kind of fucked up that he went out by fake uh Red Man replacement. Yeah, real shit. They but it is what it is. That, that's one of them contract it things. Is. I swear, I, I swear that is. It's like, yo, I, I'm tired of doing this show. Uh, I got another offer, and they're like, okay, we got to find a way to get your character up out of here. Because there's no real, there's really no. No, nah, so they said. Like no, they so they said Red Man. Uh, they they wanted Red Man to take the COVID shot, and he told him no. I ain't so that's why Red he didn't come back. I'm talking about sex. I'm talking about why he died. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm sure it might have had something to do with like a contract or something. Like, he probably got another role. Nah. Like, this is bigger. Maybe more money. He didn't like his time was on power. He felt maybe been over. So it's like because the way I he got, I feel like the way he got killed was just like I mean they y'all kept him this long. Like what's like what's the point? Uh, but of I think I, him out like I think it's I think it's more so of them weighing out who they can kill. It's kind of like a damn. We gotta kill somebody this season. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, they could have killed Drew. But I'm, I'm gonna like, I, <laughs> like like I don't care. I didn't care about sex that much to even give a fuck anyway. So, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh and then uh Beatrice Kiddo said Castillo sliding down. So that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I think uh they be commenting while they watch. Yeah. So it's like I don't know, I'm not hundred percent sure what that mean, but when she said Castillo sliding, I'm thinking she mean like Castillo's gonna ride on them niggas or some shit like that. No, I, I think she mean when then he got shot in the in the shower <laughs> sliding down. <laughs> that's what I thought. I don't know. Like I don't know. <laughs> it's possibly shit. Uh, I don't know. That was it. For, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it for um, be a, not be a meth, but ghost. For ghost. All right. Let's get back into the reviews. Okay, so after Tariq get his ass whooped, um, uh, so what you call it? Uh, he's he talking to Davis uh, mm-hmm. about the file that Sax had, and I guess Davis said he would use that file for leverage against Monet if he had to. Like he mm-hmm. he pretty much had that file on deck just in case you know Monet. He was like that sneaky murderous Monet. <laughs> like he had a problem. He was like hey. he's pretty much he's pretty much just keeping that in his in the tuck just in case. Yeah, but but thank God Tariq is there because Tariq takes it uh, and says I'm going to keep it in a safer place than where you have it, which yeah, we'll but, find out where that is later on because it's way safer than where he was. Because everybody finding that damn piece of paper, boy, that paper been sliding. <laughs> it's like why everybody got this page so then we jump to a scene uh kane is doing high speed towards brayden <laughs> he opened the door and that nigga went the door. oh my god no, i forgot about this part man like i was like i was like come on man like this is enough is enough dude like me you you this nigga driving full <laughs> speed this nigga's like kane no kane no <laughs> Dang, no. Get out the street, nigga. <laughs> this nigga opens the door on him on some, like, Fast and the Furious shit, just knocks him down, and I'm like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> this ain't this ain't real, man. Y'all, 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 not, y'all not serious for real. Y'all not serious. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't want to write no movies. Y'all want to write no series. Y'all want to play games. <laughs> this is games. They was dead serious. This is games, bro. They're not serious. They dead serious. <laughs> he, he come top speed and knock his ass out with the hey, door. That shit was funny. That, that shit was funny as 
But that was, that was a uh, a, a, com- a comedic part. <laughs> and he and he's doing that because he finds out. Well, what well, he saw Lauren was alive, so he's he he's basically doing detective work because his girl is arrested for Lauren's death, and he needs to know everybody that knew about it. Yeah. Tell you this nigga, that nigga, he losing it over her, bro. That's what I told you. <laughs> he losing his fucking mind. They can't be reckless, my nigga. Over over one tap. Uh, he said it was more than one. Yeah. Uh, uh, then we get to the letters that Saxon. I I don't like that shit. <laughs> These letters. Everybody got the letter. The voiceover shit they were doing, like, yeah, I know we didn't work out. If you got this letter. That means shut the fuck up. You had the all these letters ready to go. They are already up to date, current. So it so <laughs> so 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 the reason, the reason I'm saying that, uh, your life was so dependent on taking down this kid in college mm-hmm. that your final death letter is to everybody about this kid in college. This is this is this is where your mind is if you're about to die. Yeah. That's has been his life for a long time. Now he's been trying to get his, he was trying to get his dad, didn't get him. So I was like, I'm gonna get a son. That's his whole life's work. Um that's like some <laughs> that's like some Russell Poole shit, nigga. Yeah, Russell Poole died talking about two. And after that nigga did all that detective work, he died in the in the room talking about Tupac and Biggie. Like, <laughs> like in the office talking about him. He had a heart attack. Damn, you see? Like, I, yeah, that was his whole life story, but like, well, not his whole life, but the ending of his life, he was doing that Tupac case and he died like trying to solve it, like literally. Well, that's that's different. I'm saying I'm sure he wouldn't have wrote a letter to somebody like, Hey, I know you're oh, my son, but look, I need you to look into this file. No, nah, he didn't do that. <laughs> it was just like he just, I was just talking about how I'm putting his life into one thing, like that one, yeah. like he was so stuck on that. Like, what else was you doing, bro? That's what I'm saying. It's I get I get how you lived your whole the with the the ending of your life trying to solve or trying to convict this motherfucker, but your death letters are not gonna go out with uh what's really going on with that can't be your death letters. Yeah. You see your it girl can't. you see your girl Jenny getting a little spicy about uh Sack's death when they were talking about him. It's yeah, about yeah. Sack was like a bad person. She was just hold on one goddamn <laughs> I was like at first she was giving Sax a little lip, man. Now the Sax is dead. She crying and shit. Like, man, now she on the side. Man, now, now, fuck out here, now, now here, here everything now. I was just like, uh, just like uh, these uh, niggas, boy. <laughs> Swear. Uh so Monet gets confronted by uh the Cas- Cas- Castillo's mom. Evelyn, yeah. Drew in the back listening. So basically, she like, I know your son killed my son. He basically confessed in that video. That wasn't a confession to me, bro. That all he At said all. was like he he's gone now. I lost him. Like, you know what I mean? That's like he could been just not talking to him no more. What is it? He didn't say I had to kill my person that I was with. Yeah, but she put two and two together because it's like, well, you killed your husband, so he had to kill his his husband. Uh, his... <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that, that exchange was it was yeah, Monet felt threatened because she was using certain words like, you know, like I gave you grace last time. Uh, yeah, Monet's Monet like, wasn't having that shit. Yeah, you got me fucked up. Like, do what you gotta <laughs> do. Do what you gotta do, pretty much. And um, and Drew decides right then and there, I'm gonna kill the whole family. Oh man, I don't. Know, I want you to talk about this situation on that. One. <laughs> I just wanna like I I know what happened, and I just wanna comment on it. Like, I just wanna hear what you gotta say about the way it happened. Okay, so something happens in between that. Before we get that, because we'll go right back to that. But okay. between that, um, um, uh, Tariq is talking to the fake Jamaican dude. The Jamaican dude is like, "Yeah, Noma is the only one to get my family green cards." Mm-hmm. Now we got to remember, Noma is big and powerful, like oh, ultimate powerful gangster. Uh, controls a lot of shit, mm-hmm. but Tariq can get green cards too. Tariq can get anything. What are you talking about? He hustled yeah, me. He- he got just as much power. So Tariq is like, I'll get you the green card. I feel like there's nothing a nigga can say. <laughs> I got it. I can do it. I got you. You know what I mean? There's nothing unrealistic in Tariq's world. You can be like, I, I just need an island, man. If if I had an island, I'll take care of it. Give me two days. Just just make sure you go over there and tell her this message. It's like, it. no matter what, he can do it. Hustle man, bro. So 
So this nigga, this Jamaican dude, has been risking his life for this drug or- organization uh, organization all these years for green cards. Tariq is done in two days. <laughs> <laughs> you know my sales slogan. If you want it, I got it. If I ain't got it, I'm gonna get it. So get it while it's getting good. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. man. <laughs> he got everything on deck. You knew he was going to call. Has every... <laughs> Put a little aspirin in the water. <laughs> this nigga's literally hustle, man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. <laughs> That nigga, you knew he was gonna go to Tate. I was like, Tate got that nigga. It was like, all you gotta do is give Tate a couple of things. It was like, well, shit, send, send a little money to my foundation. I got you. I got your green cards. On, on top of that, we find out he's still sending Tate 5000 a week. <laughs> he got to, but he got to keep that nigga in his pocket, man. It was like, he won't be able to get the shit he get without, you know, having Tate as his backup. Um, okay, yeah. so we, <laughs> so speeding past that stupid shit. <laughs> Uh, so now we're here with the Drew and the Kane plan of killing the family. So the the, the family's locking the, the restaurant or the store down. Everybody's in there. All the sons and the mama. They all in there. They they lock everything up. They lock the gates. Uh, just so they make sure it's locked. I guess you can't get out from the inside because they put the screwdriver in the gates and shit. Why they shut it all down like that before they left? I don't know. I've never closed down a store. But they do that and then they hook up uh, some kind of, I guess they stole a tanker full of gas and they pumped the gas because they duct taped the whole duct, the whole thing. So the gas just pumps in there. Um, the gas pumps in, everybody passes out. They put on gas masks. They, they, now they slide the door back open because from the outside, they got all the access. There's all kind of traffic and shit going on behind them. People <laughs> walking up the street. <laughs> it's all kind of shit going on behind them while they're creeping in. Uh, the body's on the ground, then Kane closes the thing. Uh, all while not turning off the gas. They haven't turned off the gas. That's why they got the gas mask on while they walk in there. And then when they get in, they realize everybody's dead. So now it's safe to take off the mask because they can't breathe it in if everybody's dead. But everybody's not dead because the mom's on the ground still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Drew goes down to have a conversation with her. And she's like, oh, before I die, I want you to know Monet killed your daddy. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. I have a few questions on that one. When I saw it, I was just like, so... I know these niggas can get anything. Mm. You know what I mean? But like, ain't people looking for these niggas? Like, ain't ain't like no. they in the, like nobody nobody's telling them. Nobody's like watching them do what they do. I mean, they trying to get these niggas. Ain't nobody watching mm. them, so they can just get. Mm. They can just kind of. They only. They, they know ain't nobody watching the Castillos. Nothing. Nobody's watching these. No. Parents. They only watch Tariq and his grandma. Okay, cool. So, and then there's only four cops. Yeah, that's true. And all the cops in the city. So they're able to like pull up a car, hook it up. There's no back door to the store. It wasn't a car, it was a whole tanker. No, uh, saying, it's like a tanker truck. I'm saying there's no back door to the store. It's just like Man. one gate that they gotta mm-hmm. get out of. Okay. Only that entrance. The gas can't escape. Uh there's no air pockets inside the store. Understood. Understood. I was just a little confused, man. It seemed stupid. I mean, it's like, if you think of the logic of it, they duct tape the whole shit so the gas can't escape. At all. They, 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 duct, they duct taped it good, too. They're good. The best duct tape. <laughs> they duct taped the it, and they duct taped it well. Yes. It's the best duct tape. Is that, was that flex grip duct tape? Yeah. That, <laughs> that shit never be on TV. <laughs> oh, man. Ladies and they, gentlemen, they, anything, and I mean any master, goddamn master, thing, can happen master, in the power universe. Mm-hmm. Anything. Master plan. It, but it's uh, what amazes me is that they were scared to go to war with them. But then when it really came down to it, it was that easy to kill them all. Yeah, they went out. They they went out real easily. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's what happened. That was Nazi, too. That was, that was Nazi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was them. Uh, and then, uh, so we cut to... <laughs> I was real like, to say? like, yeah, they are they are technically play cousins, family, play auntie, whatever. Auntie dead now. Then we cut to uh Tariq doing Tariq's uh packing or doing he's moving hella fast and Diana coming here because Diana's been sent to find out if Tariq's a snitch or not. 
yeah. uh, by by Monet. Um, he got to say one while, thing usually to make her be like, oh, and then she's <laughs> like, nah, of course not. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. He's like, of course not. Why would I do that for the same people that try to take my, me and my family out? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> so stupid, man. And then, but then, but no, that's not stupid. Because then he leaves, she waits in the hallway and then she breaks it with a credit card. Every, everybody's like masters of the shit. She slides the credit card to get in. She's searching the room. My wife is like, what is she searching for? I'm like, I can't tell you what she's searching for, but she's searching for something. Um, she searches, searches, searches. She lifts up the mattress. <laughs> she lifts up the mattress to expose the, the top secret file <laughs> that he was Everybody keeping safe. It. Because because uh, uh, fucking Method Man hiding it in his desk with the lock. That wasn't safe. Hey, no, nah, mm-hmm. bring it to my dorm. <laughs> Bring it to my dorm. I'm gonna put it under my bed with like stacks of money. <laughs> I feel like that's the first place to cop a check. Like flip his bed open. This nigga got everything: guns, money, evidence. There it is, right there. Get him on a under his twin mattress. <laughs> under his twin mattress, it's, it's all just it's just there. It's what, just there. Whatever happened, hiding paperwork and other paperwork. Like whatever what happened, happened to burn in the fucking file because you don't need it no more. Niggas don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> Niggas like, where's the file cabinet at with a lock? They were like, nah, I'm going to put this shit in my Davis mouth. had one. It was in Davis's locked file cabinet. It wasn't enough because he had, he left his key right next to the damn file cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was literally every time he went to open it, it was just right there. Let me grab this motherfucker open this damn unprivate ass safe. <laughs> I was like, these niggas, man. Boy. Oh, man. They don't got to so work. So she touch. finds it. She... <laughs> They don't got to work. She finds the file. <laughs> she finds the file in the file. She finds out Poppy was at the crime site uh, where uh, her her cousin brother got killed. Poppy was there. Mm-hmm. And that's enough for them to put the clues together to say Monet killed Poppy because, oh no, and because of the confession from the auntie. She was like, your right. dad, your mom did it. Right. So it was like and, two and two together. And they found out Ken kind of already knew what was going on. He was like, well, that's how you... Uh... You know, got Poppy to like let you be the you know the leader at that point. You know, you blackmailed him or whatnot. So yeah, mm-hmm. uh, did did the part happen where and they confront? Uh, I feel like we skipped over the part where this nigga like, how did Kane become Effie's like attorney? How did that happen? Did he get the? Did he go through Davis? No, he's he snuck in, uh, saying he was a part of Davis's firm. That's 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 that easy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you should be like, yo, I you got to show no credentials, nigga. Oh, I, just, I represent yeah. her. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. As long as you put on a suit. Oh, okay. I'm going to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy. Well, I don't know what world you living in. In this yeah. world, all you put on the suits, say I, I'm part of Davis, uh, Davis crew. Oh, yeah. Uh, So they go meet Monet. Um, uh, They confront Monet. Drew and Diana really confront her. Like, you oh, did yeah, it, Monet. They on her helmet. You, yeah, you fucking did it. And she's like back to a corner. Everybody's talking shit. I thought in the scene, game was going to shoot her. Because <laughs> he was <laughs> calm as fuck while it was going off. Yeah, it's, it seems he, like, he he's, like he's so used to everything. And like, you already know, he already knew the information. So it's just like, it wasn't nothing new mm-hmm. to him. It was just new to uh, Diana and Drew. And, you know, they, yeah, they about to fade their own mom. Yeah. <laughs> Diana wanted it too. Diana wanted to. Drew got up in her face. She pulled Drew back. Like, was, <laughs> oh my god, damn! She pushed Drew back like a seven year old. Like, get your big head in the ass. <laughs> I was like, they better stop playing with Mona, man. Well, not about that. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh. What you call it? Braden and Tariq have a conversation. Tariq, like, you got to kill your uncle, nigga. Braden's problem is Braden think he can save everybody. Mm. He literally thinks there's a way to save everybody uh so that he don't go down. I think but, what did you say? No, I was just like Braden is I feel like he's be letting shit happen. Like that nigga was like, you was just in the hospital for the nigga opening the door on you. It's just like he's just like letting shit slide. And I don't know, man. It just seems like his character is just like you said, it's just there to kind of like save 
certain situations you know what i mean when it when it's very convenient because it was like first you couldn't kill what was that that one guy that they wanted you to kill that Tariq had to kill for you the, uh, yeah. the russian guy mm -hmm. so but you're able to push your uh your uncle off of a balcony like it ain't nothing i was gonna say <laughs> i was gonna say the incognito kills he couldn't do but uncle that shit is public like a mother <laughs> daytime <laughs> In the fucking day, the day that nigga Tariq was about to do it himself. Nigga, yeah, like, but like, it was funny how like shit. Lucas just went rogue. That nigga to give a fuck. He was just like, yeah, uh, I would like immunity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was talking to everybody. <laughs> it was like y'all niggas. I am not paying y'all. I'm out. Yeah. He damn near called them niggas. He said, I ain't scared of no <laughs> drug dealing ass. <laughs> you think I give a fuck? <laughs> But it was after that. <laughs> it was after that because I think Monet told Kane he got to kill. Uh, like Effie got to go and Diana got to go. I mean Effie and uh, what's her name got to go? Lauren. That's what Davis said. Oh, it was Davis. I thought I felt like Monet said that too, and that's Davis. what Kane went to go visit her. Yeah, because that's what he visited her after that scene. Okay, yeah, Davis went to. He was talking to Tariq, and like he was just out of nowhere. He was drunk. He was just like, yeah, man. Uh, Lauren's got to get out of here. Or no, Effie's got to go. And then he was just like, mm -hmm. yeah, Lauren, too. He was like, yo, bro, yeah. like, chill out, man. They're like, what are you talking about? What are you saying right now? That nigga like, kill Bobo. He was just like, like, yo, I know you just went through some shit, but yo, chill, bro. Yeah, he, don't it was, he, he, he was like, kill both of them. But that's what Kane went to go visit Effie. And I'm not going to lie. After that scene, I'm like, Effie can die. <laughs> Tell you, I said, didn't I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I told you, Effie don't give a fuck about Kane, bro. Like, she all about herself. They're not gonna be no... They're not gonna be together. They're not sticking together, nigga. She all for she herself. She told that nigga, shit, you think we something because we fucked? I was like, god damn, that shit hurt my feelings, nigga. Yeah. Was... <laughs> that nigga was looking like, but what? But, but I'm here, and he ain't... <laughs> I'm the one here in the suit and shit. I came here and did all of this shit for you, baby. Nigga, she's like, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's feelings was hurt, hurt. Hell yeah, it was. And he gathered his suitcase and shit. Like, man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Mona called that nigga pussy whip this episode too, bro. I'm telling you. Everybody. Everybody calling that nigga pussy whip. Um uh and then uh so uh I don't know if was was uh Tariq leaving or was he pulling up when uh two bit two bit came out of nowhere. Man, bro. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Them stupid ass letters pissed me off. Like, come on, you wrote a letter to Two Bit. This is what I'm talking about with the sloppy shit, dude. Why is Two Bit here? Where's Two Bit been, <laughs> nigga? Since power, like, why does he just pop up? Why he don't get like some type of reintroduction that feels a little bit more powerful? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just very, <laughs> just very slick about it. It's just like, yeah, nigga, here, nigga, you give me your car, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a hundred grand. <laughs> I'm just like, man, why did they? Oh, like, why write this nigga in? Like, last time I seen this nigga, he was arguing with Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> in the Joker costume. Man, I'm like, yo. That was dude. random as fuck. That nigga just showed up. Yeah, and I need that Porsche. I'm like, he don't drive it anyway. Like, what, like, what, what did that even come from? Yeah. What, okay, so what bothered me? Um, because <laughs> right after that, uh, right after that, Tariq drives off in the old school. Mm -hmm. Uh, he pulls up to where his mom is. It's entirely too easy to find his fucking mama in this show. But they in the same state. Clearly. Okay. Cool. There, there was no. They didn't do no sun come up, sun come down, which means he only drove for like maybe what an hour, because the the little girl was still outside. They had just got home, so it ain't too late. Yeah, it's like seven, seven in the evening. It's late. They I like savings. I don't. It, <laughs> I don't understand. It's too fucking easy. And then, uh, and then, so the, the little girl, nobody sees Tariq but his little sister. Why she's across the street by him, literally by don't know. By herself. Nobody's wondering where she at. Where's Jazz? The, the security's no still on the porch. They ain't even looking over at her. They they looking at the mama coming with the groceries. They, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't give a fuck. You see how quick them niggas got took it. I was like, witness protection ain't shit. Boy, I swear to God, nigga, I don't win. This is the worst. <laughs> and that was, and, they, and they were the extra guards. Remember, he called and was like, "They need extra security. I'm on it right now." Yeah. This nigga Tommy bent the corner. Why did Tariq know Tommy was coming? Nobody knows, but he knew Tommy was coming. 
Yeah, that shit, man. That's another yeah. thing. That was just like, okay, now Tommy's back. Tommy pulls up in the epic blue, um, the old school that he got, and shoots the two guards. You know, barges in the house and you know, puts a gun to Tasha. You know, Tasha's screaming at family shit again. <laughs> like she, family, you know, like, bitch, you get my girlfriend. Like, what? <laughs> and Tariq jumps out, you know what I mean? And they have a standoff, right? Yeah. And Tariq hitting the back of the head. Knock the fuck out. In the episode. Because, because one of the guards jump up and shoot shoot at Tommy. They missed. The, the police in here are the worst shooters ever. I thought they had training for this shit, but they shoot at Tommy. They miss. Tommy turn around, two in the chest. Then it looks like Tommy's about to shoot Tariq, but then Tariq gets knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Kane is a better shooter than half the cops in this show. He's, he's the best shooter in the Power Universe. Yeah. So, yeah, like, he gets knocked out, and they don't let you know who, who knocks them out, pretty much. It's just like, it just goes to the credits. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, you know, and at that point, like, my prediction is just like, oh, did somebody did two bit come out of nowhere and hit the nigga in the head like i was trying to figure out because they just put in everybody i thought ghost might have been back i thought he might have came from the dead it was just like <laughs> not my friend nigga like i thought that was my yeah friend. i don't know yeah, my, my uh i don't even know if i had a prediction i was so lost on the fact that all of this shit was happening it was i had a feeling like none of this shit was real hmm. right it seemed like it was going like flashback or something right like it was yeah like he's dreaming like a dream sequence or something because it's like the convenience of it all the convenience of him uh knowing to go to his mom uh being right there when tommy bends the corner telling his little sister yes who who's the only one who sees him waiting across the street because security guards ain't looking around clearly right. uh the mom is running up on the porch with groceries the grandma is barking at her from the porch this is the worst witness protection i've ever seen in my life and uh that's and and another thing. When did they move to that house? Because when when he sent his sister to live with his mama, they was in like some country hick town. Right. Yeah. I think they moved them again sometime in this season, but for some reason, didn't they have to relocate them? I don't know no more, man. I I just don't know no more. I don't. The shit is so far beyond imagination. I don't know. That two bit shit, like really, like I didn't, I didn't know where that came from and why yet. I was just like, okay, apparently he's back, and he's gonna be like, you know, it, you know how it is. Like the the season is about to end, they want to reintroduce some characters that's gonna be in the next season. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, but I'm like, the way they brought him back was just very random, and like, why was Sax send him a letter? That's what I'm saying. Like, what is, what is the point of Sax sending these letters to these people? Yeah, it was like, okay, you, you sending this nigga a letter, so he ain't gonna do nothing but he's just trying to extort Tariq. Like, he didn't even kill him. Like, I can see if you sent that nigga a letter to be like, oh, two bits looking for you to kill you, so I'm sending him a letter or something to be like, oh, yeah, what yeah, Tariq is that? Go kill him. Like, no, he's like, yo, nigga, I'm gonna need a hundred grand in the whip. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm telling. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, but that's where the episode ends. Oh. So it, it ends on a cliffhanger of Tariq getting knocked out. We talking shit, but I'm entertained. I'm not gonna lie. Very, <laughs> it's very, crazy. it's wild. But Everything was happening so fast. I was into it, but yeah. at the same time, I couldn't escape the the thoughts of what the fuck's going on here. Not a goddamn thing, bro. Uh... We are at school is out of the fucking window. It ain't about school no more. Oh, they didn't miss too many classes now, bro. After a certain <laughs> time, you get suspended. <laughs> this, shit is, <laughs> this shit is wild man um uh man i don't know uh so season finale is next week hey well not a because shit we ain't got nothing to watch oh no it's gonna be some shit coming out by then we we should have some shit movies or something should be around because it's almost june summertime mm. yeah hey man but we hear y'all uh <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe if you like our reviews, man. Like, we, we, I like when you all, uh, y'all comment, but like, hit the timestamps if y'all want to talk about a section just so we know what y'all talking about. Yeah, we do like, hey, we do like the deep dives though, um, in the comments though. It, it's yeah. been a lot of, uh, people were giving their opinions and we fuck with that because y'all be thinking just like us, like, we don't know what's going on here, but we all entertain for sure. Let's talk about it, man. Should tell me something I don't know. So I'd be like, oh, 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what's Point up. out some. They might be. Y'all might know the reason Two Bit got called back up. Y'all might know the reason Tommy drove from Chicago with uh overnight to come kill Tasha again. Yeah, because I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like I I remember the season, but not. The last I remember like like key parts and characters, but it's like I can't tell you exactly what happened the first season or exactly what happened the second season because it's you know it's a lot to remember. Right. But some uh, people might. So if y'all be like, yo, hey, y'all, y'all remember second season episode five? You know, it was like yeah. okay, shit, let me know. I'm gonna go back. Yep, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not going back, but uh I like how uh I'm gonna go Davis... back and I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, I like how Davis pointed out the fact that Effie told on him before. Because remember, I said that's what's bothering me. Because mm-hmm. she did tell on him, but they never said who she told. They never. When you go back, if you ever go back to watch that the uh, the season when Tariq got kicked out of the other college, she's texting somebody, but they do not say who she texted. And that shit still bothers me to this day. Yeah, man. If, if I don't think Effie's involved with anything, honestly. I swear, I think she's just a confused orphan girl. And I feel like she's just like you said now that mm-hmm. everything is happening. She'd be gone, man. Like she's like kind of a pointless character. I wouldn't say she's pointless because she she still got Kane's heart. Can't she she is Kane's heart right now. It's not gonna happen, bro. Like, it's just not gonna happen, bro. No, like, I'm not, not I'm not saying that they they together, but he's definitely still on her tough. I don't give a fuck what she said in that moment when he was like, fuck you. He said fuck you like with pain. It wasn't like a a normal can't fuck you. He was just like hurt. Like, I'm the one here for you. I'm the one. And she's like, nigga, I didn't ask you to do none of that. When he said fuck you, it was it was pain behind that. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> she go, this nigga can't end up dying over this girl for real. If anything, she's around to make it easier for Kane to be a target. Cause Kane is definitely hooked on that. And he could definitely get caught up. Cause I feel I don't I don't feel like Effie is done with Tariq. I don't. She's not. She's she still got love for Tariq. Cause you seen it when um when when she talked to Davis, mm-hmm. and she was about to ask him about Tariq, but then she kind of stopped. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, she, just like I said, she played Kane to the left when he came, like to kind of show her a little bit of love. She was like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> and she out. She 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 done fucked a couple of niggas on that twin mattress. She don't give a fuck. Like nigga, you. <laughs> What you can never that be nigga Tariq. was hurt. Why, man. Why, why, one day she'll be like, You can never be Tariq. She's gonna say that shit one you day. gonna say, Oh, she gonna put a bullet in her head. Tell that's you. gonna be the reason she get popped. Damn, I'm with it. I'm all for that it. Nigga, that nigga Tariq said, You been one to be me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever talk to me like that, man, nigga. <laughs> oh man, that's power, ladies and gentlemen. Episode, yeah, nine. like, share, subscribe, man. we here. Talk to us. We talk back. we everywhere if you there. Pieces. Like, share, subscribe down there. All that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.